Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the Oppie Oppie No Me or the Operation Operation Fruit but we're going to call it the Oppie Oppie No Me. Let's go. Okay so the Oppie Oppie No Me is a Paramecia type devil fruit and that allows the user to create a spherical space or room in which uh, the user can control and pretty much has complete dominion over the entire area. He, they can actually use this to teleport themselves with other different things in that area to make them be able to like literally run like flash sprint things. So if there's a log on one side of the room and you're on the other side, you can switch places immediately. Now this is used by Trafalgar D Water Law and obviously Trafalgar is one of my favourite characters and I do love his Devil fruit. Now, this devil fruit was actually valued at five billion berry, so there is definitely something about this, and I'm going to save it till right to the end. But first of all, being able to have the oppie oppie you no know, me, you can use a thing like shambles where you can completely just split people apart and just shove them in different things, but they're still alive in this room because why not? You are also able to, if you have complete dominion over this room, then you can pretty much do a lot of things that you can actually do. You can actually do a transplant surgery, or so to speak, like, like I was just talking about, and taking off people's limbs and shoving it onto like barrels and stuff, which was shown in the Archipelago series before the time skip, and I loved this devil fruit when I first saw it, because people were like, people are still alive, like damn that's that's crazy right and there is a lot to this devil fruit he was also able to use this in a in very very good standing against um virgo in the punk hazard arc and to be honest i would love to see this again because he used this thing called scalpel and basically just slice the island in half, well, the mountain bit of the island, you know what I'm talking about, where the lab is, and he did that so he could slice Virgo in half. And I love this this power of this devil fruit because of that. It was just like, let alone all the other applications for this devil fruit, and you probably know what it is. Um, I do love this devil fruit. And he basically amputated Virgo and cut him completely up and left him to die when they blew up. He does have this thing called Radio Knife where he actually can control his own body parts in a center, in a, it's pretty much an, a, a, uh, an enhanced version of uh, the amputate method and that is when Law charges his sword with electricity in a similar manner to the counter shock that he uses and it moves quickly at his enemy and pretty much just slices them up. Um, I do find that that one's quite useful and there is quite a lot of other things that you can use. Now he can do a transplant surgery of personalities where he can people switch people's bodies. Now I love this part because, let's be honest guys, when Toshigi and Smoker got switched in different bodies it was funny because I don't know, I just found it funny, really. <laughs> um, I would like this to see this happen again because it's just a little bit of comic relief with this Devil Fruit, but even though it's absolutely terrifying because you could, like, switch, like... <laughs> imagine switching Kaido into a vegetable, then just stepping on him. He wouldn't be invincible anymore and be dead. So that's one way you could take out Kaido, but I'm pretty certain he that's not that easy to take out that Yonko. Now there is one move that I would like to cover before I go on to the ultimate ability and that is the Gamma Knife that he can use and this is Lord's strongest technique that he actually practices and it is a short blade of energy that literally basically ruptures the entire organs of the hero opponent and I find this absolutely terrifying because if Lord can actually use this, this is... ah. Oh, Damn, he got one on Doflamingo, and if Doflamingo didn't stitch all his organs back together, he would be definitely dead, because it's that powerful in an attack. That's crazy for a supernova to have, and to have that at your disposal is absolutely insane. 
But that being the case, let's talk about what the Oppie Oppie No Me is definitely talked about a lot, and that is the immortality surgery, it, or the ageless surgery, to be honest. It basically, law can make someone immortal with his devil fruit. That's insane, right? Now, um, he, this does come at a cost, and that kills the devil fruit user who performs it on someone. So, that being the case, it's not very helpful for the actual you devil fruit user to actually have, but if someone who is completely devout to like their boss, maybe Kaido, and the last user of the Oppie Oppie No Me um, gave their life and performed the immortality surgery on someone, that would be really, really helpful in order to be pretty much an indestructible person. Um, I Obviously, there is a few things to that, like, you probably could still die, there is other ways around it, it's basically, you just won't, you just stop aging. So, that being the case, guys, that is the Oppie Oppie No Me, that's all I really want to talk about today. Have a lovely rest of the day, and I shall see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye-bye.